This week on Unplugged Urban. We're getting water for the chickens from the sky. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unplugged Urban. We are on our fourth week, the chicken coop? I think so. I think so, I've lost track. There's space-time continuum going on these days. So it feels like time is standing still amid the uh, quarantine episodes. Well, this morning we went out for our normal Starbucks hike. Uh, because Starbucks is now open, which is exciting, <laughs> Uh, we took a little different path and uh, went on a new trail. Found some great hiking trails just yeah. within our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even know. Where, well, I kind of knew they were here, but we've never actually explored them and found them. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. We, we went out this morning and ended up at Benford Lake Park, which yep. is a nice little park here. And uh, dogs are happy. Not many. No. She many's. has to walk on gravel. She doesn't like that. She does not like that. No. Well, anyways, <laughs> this week uh, we are completing uh, the chicken coop couple little things to check off the list. We, we uh, had to finish the fence for the top of the coop, for the top of the run, because the thought chickens were jumping great. out. Just, they roosted on the sides and yeah. jumped right out. Yeah, so it kind of defeats the purpose of a run if they can get out. Um, we finished that, and then we also uh, put in our automatic watering system. And it's a good week for that because it is uh, a rain-collected watering system. It's been raining quite a bit this weekend. So had a little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. Uh, it's been a good weekend for it. So now you just need to teach the chickens how to use it when it gets a little darker. It was too bright this morning to follow the laser pointer. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get the chickens to learn how to uh, how to drink out of the system. So they're high tech chickens. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. <laughs> so our life hack this week is to set up auto feeding for the chicks. Now you guys are probably many of you may be aware we're kind of new to chickens. There already is such a thing as an auto feeder for chickens. It's it's basically this bucket here that you pour a whole bunch of feed into. You can put easily like a week's worth of feed in and it just kind of settles out here. The chicks take it out, it's no problem. So this, this part of the auto feeding is already solved. Watering chickens is a little more difficult, um, especially because you have to clean their water on a regular basis. And so I saw another YouTube video, I'll put a link to it in the description below, with these guys right here. These are called, I think, rabbit feeders. The idea is they have a little plunger on them and when you push up on the plunger it lets a little water out and I saw a video where a guy trained his chickens using a laser pointer to push up on this and get some water and then he didn't have to feed them anymore now because we have a big rain barrel right here um, ideally and we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, rain here in Oregon Ideally, we should never have to water our chickens. So, so this should be an automatic so our process. chickens have cat Half cat? Why? Using a laser pointer. Oh, a laser pointer? Point? That's true. Like, cats would do that too. <laughs> if you go on Craigslist or do an internet search for uh, water barrel or food grade barrels, uh, this is a 50, 50 gallon drum. I think they're about 20 bucks here. Um, we're going to convert this into a water storage system by adding a gutter and a drain pipe and then also some plumbing underneath. I'm not going to explain every step. You'll see the whole video, but uh, we already have a video uh, that I'm going to post a link to right up there. There it is. Uh, for making rain barrels out of food grade barrels. So you ready, Ben? Yep. Let's get to it.
this is going to be our vertical pipe that extends out to the water feeders and um, I've got this expanding joint here that allows us to shrink or basically lower or raise the feeders and the idea there is the chicks are small now but they're going to be chickens later so we'll be able to adjust the height so it meets them um, now and when they get to be full-size hens. So this is our one inch pipe. We're gonna drill some holes in this for our feeders and uh, then we're just gonna PVC weld them in. Last night I was able to get all the plumbing done except for installing the actual water feeders themselves. And the reason was this glue was taking a very long time to dry. Um, so I just wanted to make sure it's set up really nicely um, I've never used the one step. I usually, when I've used PVC, use the primer and then use the glue. And this is just the glue. When I went to go glue these, I pulled all the, the hardware, the moving pieces out because I didn't want them to accidentally get glued into place. There's basically a check valve inside. Um, you've got a top pin uh, that pushes this little ball down. It's larger than the bottom pin that the, the chicks push up. Oops, the bottom pin that the chicks push up. And then um, on the top, there's uh, a little seating uh, surface for this ball bearing that's, that's basically acting as your check valve. And there's a seating surface on the bottom. So it's basically just a little pressure check valve. Uh, but I took all those pieces of hardware out. Now, when I went to go put them back in, I was concerned that I might have glued over the top hole, which I did. Because you can see here, this pin moves very easily oops as long as I don't pop it out okay and when I put it into one of these guys um, it kind of gets stuck like there see it's not I put it in that one it's not falling out unless I push it down so um, now I could have mechanically threaded these in and use some hardware to, to bolt them in but the problem was I knew I'd get to this I might be able to reach this one and this one, but these two middle ones, I couldn't get anything down there. I couldn't get a wrench down there to, to tighten them up. So I figured I'm gonna just glue them in, take the hardware out. I'm gonna take the hardware out, glue them in, and then I'll take a drill bit and just kind of clean out that orifice. So I'm gonna do that and then assemble these. Hopefully they work. And then I'm gonna test them with water, uh, just pour some water down this tube and make sure they actually work as they're supposed to before I glue everything together. automatic off-grid chicken watering system is now complete uh, so we've pretty much finished the build on this uh, chicken coop we've got a couple things left to do I gotta build a door for uh, the electrical box or cabinet and storage area I've got um, to make a cover for the main coop because our chickens now can fly up on this edge here so we want to make sure that we got a cover for it if we want them to stay in the run um, and then also uh, have some more um, I got a complete under the eaves here, the, uh, the paneling, um, so that's all nice and closed up. So I'm going to try to finish those things before it starts raining. It's supposed to rain all weekend, which 
it's kind of a bummer for finishing projects, but it's also a really great thing for testing out our watering system. Hopefully by uh, Sunday, we'll be able to have enough water in there and maybe start training the chickens how to, how to drink out of the feeders. So I'm gonna get going on finishing up a lot of odds and ends. been a full week and it's nice to have the chicken coop done yes it is yeah and uh you were gonna come home we were gonna film this while it was still light out and you had, to work. <laughs> you had to work i forgot i had today. to close not open so we are so glad you joined us this week uh we hope you enjoyed watching us build the chicken coop and this week is kind of a special week for us well this episode is a special episode because it is our 25th 25th episode so um if you're so not... send us anniversary present oh yeah Absolutely. <laughs> if you like this video, hit like. Uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends, post it on Facebook, and hit that bell so you get notifications. But for right now, we're just going to say goodnight because it's pretty late. Good night. Good night.